just reasonable. fundamentals, people basically just walking around fighting. But basically, a deathmatch lobby is what it felt like last time, and Loud excelled at that. <laughs> Why would you? Okay, FX on defense, Loud on attack. Don't get me wrong. Autumn and life are very I good, hit. but they're going to need to do, do a lot more than that here. Ooh, Let's see what they got. A Loud good sign. on the attack, of course. FPX on the defending side and already. Yeah, it's the flash like dash map. timing was really this nice on this one as well. Yori has to somehow kill across. everyone. Okay. Good maybe. Actually, maybe. Ah, uh, it's unlucky, oh, man. He got this kill and, again, and there was a low point. HP on site. Could have been a bit different. It was a nice hit from Loud though, and the flash dash was really strong. Oh. Sadex out here just dodging you till. A body on the site here, forced to swing and does go down. Game back on here. Two v two. Oh, that was a. We got double Viper Molly as well. Ryang there, but I saw what have you got for us? Yeah. Perfect timing on it. Literally perfect. Uh, your unscored wild. Thank you for the ten months, man. Uh, thanks for sending that as well, bro. Glad you, glad you're enjoying yourself. Very difficult. They can buy time, free information. I saw desperate to try and get something. You can't blame the man for trying, but yeah, loud. Not gonna let this one slip. I see handles. Again, didn't really see loud rely too much on on sight hits and and full on executions previously versus Gen G. No, pistol round if it is any sort of indicator. Three O in terms of pistols. For an adjustment. That's a little bit approach. devastating for FPX. Yeah, really looking towards life and autumn to be uh, very self sufficient as well in these roles. Both the Yoru and the Jet. Hey, Eureka. Doing good, dude. How you doing? Thank you for the six months. Appreciate the tier one. Yeah, in terms of the pistols, it's uh, hard to win. Especially when you're the underdogs, you kind of... You're at least wanting to get half of the pistols. We'll see what the farming's like. We get the outlaw out. Same old when we talk about it. If you're loud, you want to be very clean in this. You want to maybe try and opt to build alts in the right direction. Here, FBX, you want a little bit of mayhem. And um, they didn't get what they wanted. Attempted a pop yeah, this is a little bit... I, I like the play. Loud. It's just the nice fact that there's four people here. Well, PCK so might get some right shots. So that's going to be a problem. If it even comes PCK. To County, just stand in there. <laughs> and yeah, less the whole less time, it was like vision was blocked by yellow and then vision was blocked by this as well. So almost... That's uh, about all she wrote, at least for the first two. Now we see the Good buyer. news is, probably the two best alts for getting over towards a site uh, yes, halfway there online. Uh, or tone, should I say, to this. Because yeah. first map, they did do yeah. quite well initially. It was the uh, ability that they you couldn't adapt beyond that, though. Yeah, for sure. And I think the problem lies, obviously, on the previous map. that You could see FPX wanting to be proactive. There, there mm. just isn't enough tools, really, within that composition to to, you know, set life and autumn in motion. Here, we have two way more self-sufficient duelists. Obviously, only really the Soviet oh, utility my. to set them up. But that's a lovely shot. Now, not gas oh, they're going fast that's with this like one as well. Astra, Astra on site needs to do a lot. Yeah, and he's still going for it as well. That's not bad from autumn. Right place, right time for him. That's the spike noted. Another player followed up. He's starting to heat up. Two already in this round, potentially a third. No, Sadak. Now does not with the Bulldogs, so the plant looking like it's back on the cards. Ayang has a lot of utility to bring into this, though. Playing in from oh, this is on Sadak, really. Through mid with Lysor, so they could potentially they really isolate this? some of these players. Okay, all there done, Sadak. Nice shots, man. There were some good shots hit on this round from FPX. A good sign. Uh, good damage done from Loud. Right. Big swing round three. People can't buy next for them. Take a little bit of then after the next round. To execute that split through mid. Mm. I for two good to be. Sure that that was, people have been doing a lot of um. Intended. Been seeing a lot of this like no sentinel breeze. It looks pretty hard to play. Um, it's pretty hard to play on defense. But, but I, keep in mind, I think it at least not can at least out, make purchase. up for it with the Yoru because no, you can be like proactive, well. set someone up and TP so, away, you know, or you get faster rotate. So I think it does. I think it does work on defense, but you kind of have to have the Yoru at, for okay, it to actually actually work. Otherwise, you're getting so so wrecked on your defense. But again, it's it's a nightmare to play against. The longer the round goes on, the more question marks that build up is bit hard. Yeah, when you're kind of playing Yoru like this, getting a lot of mid info, it can help. Time. The best way to play it, basically. I'm um, speaking of Yoru, one, one away from ult, Sadak one away from his ult. Cowan's in with ult here, 17 HP. 
That would be devastating for him to go down. Oh, man. Yeah, imagine it. They do at least create a bit of pressure over towards middle. So this is a question mark over towards here. Drone goes in, clears top middle, nothing deep. Yoru TP is up if he wants to fast rotate. And I'm just gonna, in towards life. gonna do this. Counting okay. down low has a oh, lot of kit to play with, so wants to try and use it to facilitate this play towards site. Life's in danger here. Lovely shot. He's still finding value. QCK goes down. He's dodging just about everything. How the hell? Good are they recon as well. as well. Yeah, as a, the fast TP that we said as well really enabled this. Chaos and still holding full control. That spike didn't make it out of main. Loud being held at the door. Lice were just ensuring that by playing up a little bit closer. Like the idea from Loud though, or at least the backup idea from Loud, right? Create pressure towards door, make it look like an ace, but then go heavy. It's just the fact that FPX had so many people here and the Yoru TP was still able to pop flash gonna buy a couple of seconds and speaking of seconds oh, it's kind 15. of be taken yeah, lice are on a platter they've got to know about autumn but he's still firing great One work from autumn and i am there shots man shots were hit that's what you and be that's three people that can't buy yeah, let's see if they can get some econ. Got the uh, got the server all out of them as well. Autumn did great, yes, for sure. I think maybe if we're loud as well, and this is something that the coaches will be writing down, just how many times are they sight hitting and how many times is like the Yoru there in terms of numbers? Do they need to play slower uh, to try and bait out like the double Yoru TP? Because he's using his TPs relatively early. Like, he should be out of his TPs by, like, 50 seconds, by the way that he's using it. Or maybe a little bit later. Some investment here. Kalanzine, a Guardian. Life in the hands of two E's. So they could start playing a little bit slower if they wanted to. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, nearly tried to set up the hero gun, though. It was close. Like, real close. 24. Where the hell is this kill? Autumn is... From, from I, door, from top mid, on this map middle mid. More. I want to see more from him. Lysol going to deal with Kalanzine. Really? Looking at two, he's here to crack open some space, but haven't really been... Oh. Yeah, and he's just like, can I reach that? Doesn't want to go into the smoke. Lovely shot. It's a huge problem. I like this from Lysol. 20 HP goes close. I like this push as well. They both kind of get aggro. Oh, man. And looks like he's been hurt. Yeah, and they, they just thought that he would have pushed all the way close. Nice eco. Um... I mean, the, yeah, the, I, I want to get the replay. Did this guy on A site not remember the angle? I don't think we're going to see it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but it, it felt like they got caught off from an angle in terms of middle of mid. Nonetheless, loud, able to recover here. The savage round to lose. Minimal investment, able to get a third round on the board. Very aggressive star. Look at that. Look at that shot. He blind. Good recovery on this one. Dude, it feels like they do the hard work. And then sometimes like the, the easier stuff is the stuff that they struggle at. Got, I mean they got some players, man. It is the dreaded 3v5 though. We've seen this multiple times. Let's try and catch somebody on the retreat back towards A site. Who's in QCK elsewhere? Posted on this angle. Okay, 2v5, no need to worry, right? Crisp on the first here. We'll spot They're the hitting some really good shots. Want to give away an opportunity to Loud here. One enemy remaining. Two E's will fall less. Spawned. Not as anything less. Oh, yeah, second here. Okay. Suddenly, you know, that, when that, do we start getting worried? It's code blue at the start. You know what I mean? You're starting to get a little nervous now. You're like, what's, what's Something going on? Something might be happening. Don't move. Literally. Don't look at them. They're understanding the process. They've gone, Les is up to something. Let's hold for a moment. That spike is within touching distance. He's got to be careful of Berlin, who is, I think, jump spotting, but yeah. not particularly left. deep. He has left the spike up here, so oh, back go. And where do you go for? You know that generally the spike. Berlin had been over towards that to the site side. where there's only one. He spotted earlier on. Mm. on the pillar, he actually so. goes to the site where there's one. I mean, the time's too low, hopefully, maybe. Oh, boy. Oh, that was an actual chance. 
that's that's not he, he's letting go too far uh, it's unlucky. It was a good try. Nicely done from Lysol here. Didn't step, uh, overstep the mark too much. Still a little bit scary. That's did good. Um, I mean, the low HP probably shouldn't be peaking there, but I get that he's seen the gun barrel and he thinks that he has a chance. Nice shots were hit. Uh, two people can't buy for loud, so they're going to have to eco on this one, but we've seen them win... I mean, they won this round with Rawi. Won this round with less. As in less guns, not less. Wait, they force, they force into it. Okay, we force into it. Okay, scrap that. They force into it. Double one Guardian. Missing a little bit of util, not too much. Only one. They're actually missing no util. Which is what Les is trying to test a little bit for now, but... Progress towards the tube. It's something that has been left somewhat vulnerable, but Autumn... Coming back around. Flash all the way through. The yeah, it's man QCK. It's been this is something they've been trying to do and just create a lot of pressure over towards tube because they have no cipher, right? So you know there's a jewel here instead of a trip. And every single time they've just been coming out on top in terms of FPX back to back. Might have to rethink um, a bit of how they want to approach this. Doubt we'll see a reaggress here. Down to 56 HP. Might fancy his chances. Go on. He's curious, isn't he? Yeah, he's fancying it. Zadak being tested, and it's not just Zadak. Look what's behind him. There's other Look at players the trying to follow this pathing. Less waiting towards middle. Cowan's in. in here too. Loving the fact that he might be able to get this gun. Swap. There we go. And a weapon they want to get into hand. But there's still three players to clear on A, and they can exchange goods. Right? 30 go, seconds okay, well, on this. Auto, go take oh, this, is, this looks pretty well. scary. So Big jewel on A. A yeah, they got to take some map control, so they decide to push over towards A. But he's losing Still. his support system. They found the player in CT. They found the player at the back of side. And now they've got to fight all oh, no. the front. And FPX in seconds. Still get the plant seconds. on this one. It's a scramble. I Berlin exactly goes down, but life's exactly position left. could still be devastating. Where's his support? Where is Lysol? Oh, God, he's got a judge. And uh, the position going to be seen. They now know where both of these He's got a judge, but he can pick up this gun, maybe. No one's facing it right now. Yeah, uses the smoke to pick up the gun as well. Gets gun upgrade, and they've got a good little crossfire going in terms of less encounters in. Definitely a concern. Recon bolt available. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Look at this Molly. What a savior of the light saw though. Out does less, and now it's game back on. But time. Can he disconnect from this? Yeah. This is this is really difficult for Lysaw. He needs to find a pixel out of place or a shot for free, which really Cowanzine isn't going to give. Yeah, it's done on this position. one. It's something that Cowanzine can play in. Loud steal away around, really, really, considering how it was at 30 really seconds. Nice I feel like the two on A main still, played it well. Um, for me, this jaw. I mean, this this jaw and this jaw is really big. Too easy. Able to really hold down control there of A main. In life once again. I mean, alongside Berlin. Making things work here. Beautiful hold initially, but uh, like I said, once you remove that one player from A main and louder force to the line the, the, um, the Molly. Yeah, the Molly was sweat. sick. It's loud. Uh, okay, we got a really important round in terms of the econ. And we got a uh, four, well, six ults all together. One away from these ults as well. Close to getting eight ults. Um, the most classic. Jet all you can get. Round, right off the rip, life gonna get to work. You can see the purchase is missing some elements to this as well. Ayang is down without armor as well. So the money was getting a little close oh, to Berlin. Boy. Actually, falls that might open up a huge chance towards this oh, side man. QCK. Yeah, that yeah. Now it. the tube pressure's starting to work a little bit. To change this it's been, a, it's been so much tube pressure. He's been there more often than Lovely God. shot as well. Life. Three people on site. Death against loud QCK. Joining Calendine on the victim list, and away they go. They fancy their odds. They're not going to let him escape. He's hunting oh. them down. Just losing out on the night. Info in terms of all of them here. That's a lovely molly. The information also putting down, and they're still going to try and get that pressure, but no start on the plant just yet. No defuse to begin until now. Autumn stands his ground, takes down less. Off already. Oh, nicely done. Life hit some shots on this one. And then, that is a big round, but they've kind of been losing some of these other rounds where their money's lower. So this is like, their money's a lot lower than it has been in some of these other rounds. I wonder if, um, I think, also, I think FPX will kind of take this timeout. 
Because I think they need to change maybe how they're going to do tube. They could definitely just off tube. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, I mean, Sadak obviously fallen to the, the snake bite here. Can't really be avoided. Well placed. He's okay. Yeah, he's trying to catch him off guard with the push. FBX clinging to life here. And now, I gotta say, not having as much as an, uh, of an easy time in terms of these opening engagements that they did versus Gen G. Oh, right. I said it was, very, it was very, very cut and dry, very vanilla. FPX, yeah, there's a good amount of rounds at the moment for them. Map last time. Considering they lost Pistol as well. Um, I just, I'm really liking what I'm seeing between Autumn and Life. I can't stress it enough. And, and don't get me wrong, it's not... Yeah, they're just, they're just dueling so much. Like, FPX are well. probably they're, they're coming well out on top job. of most of these duels. playing the roles that they need to. But I'm loving seeing that kind of combination that geo between autumn and life working here in comparison when it didn't on sunset absolutely if you let a yoru and a jet perform like this on the defense you know they come into their attack in half oh. feeling way better about themselves especially coming out he's going a, to take a, this a half it's kind of set up for a 6-6 six, six half to be honest with you this should be an eco and then so by rounds you would favor the attack a little bit against this comp but that's not the case <laughs> so to bounce back like anything this more from fpx really would be very very good now has loud got the chops though to find yes we've got the singular hero here. gun from counting and we have qck with the knife knife goes top mid that's going to hit two unless they shoot it Autumn, this guy is just out of this world. Oh boy. The only real <laughs> That's a sick shot, QCK. man. And he is That's a sick shot. Fair play. And his teammate Gallant shot the knife and over and towards middle. Guardian, but beyond that, you've got a sheriff and a ghost. Basically trying to mirror life from the previous round. Yeah, these two are the opener in mid. annihilating. In terms of jewels. We still have Guardian in the hands of Cow and Zine, but... You're right, the blade storm was really going to be... Well, Look at the shots. Oh, Cowan's in. Has a bit of a timing though. Oh, not another 5v3. Not like this. Too isolated over towards A site. Questioning where they could be. Probably have to at least go aggro somewhere and pick a side. Rebuild. The, the end game looks like less to eventually creep towards what a weird round. This is a really hard fight. Timing from life. Oh. Rotten. Yeah, life. Perfectly played that. Oh, creepy. Police that weapon. And this still coming through. So aware yeah, and just these now on just the sheriff and a ghost doesn't feel. Thirty seconds left. Don't feel as bad. Oh. Much left for loud to really. A little bit close though. Sheriff and a ghost. Is life gonna give this one away. Yeah, he's drifting. Did he get spotted? No, I don't all. think so. No, oh. he's coming through. Man. Oh, he's cleared though. And now two. He's 26 HP. Seconds. They did enough on this. And okay, they managed to survive a 5v3 and an eco round. So. It's all going good for them. Now we probably get to see what uh, Loud were talking about in terms of their timeout of what they want to do. And um, maybe we're going to see less tube pressure because they've been focusing so heavy over towards tube. Yeah, this show was so, so nice. Yeah, Autumn's very nice to watch. This is what it should have been about, right? That timeout that came in, probably not for the last round, but, you know, the, the one between. This is what it was for. Why was he hunting for kills over towards here in the three v five? Yeah, he, he should have just held back. This is what I mean. This team in this team in some of these um an advantage rounds, they still kind of like take risks um that don't need to happen. And like the one thing that's been like glaringly in their downfall, basically. Won't expect to see him getting too aggressive here. No I like this from Loud as well. They're just expecting a heavy amount of pressure. They've been losing the, the fast kills all the time, really, into a lot of these buy rounds. So yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. I like this one. They're just playing a little bit more passive, waiting to see if anyone's doing aggro. And they're also just waiting for this, right? The t this is what I was talking about at the beginning, like the first kind of four rounds. The fact that the FPX are using their TP so early, that this TP is going to go at like the 45 second mark, and then they can kind of hit sites and most likely be able to hit a site where there's only... Three. Uh, sorry, where there's only two. Closer. There is a player watching two eats. Who gets the timing right here? In. Life walking in. He's been seen. Yeah. And he gets to keep his life. They are going to head over to towards the site where there's three. So now the three play stack that was on this side of the map going to be rewarded. Oh my. He's actually just going for it. Berlin's fallen. As has life. It's all on autumn. What can this man do? Nothing this round. 
This is much better from Loud. This, this is how you kind of want to approach this again. No Sentinels, so the longer you wait, the more likely there could have been gaps anywhere in terms of timings. And the fact that they have the Yoru, you want to wait for this TP to just kind of time out as well. So this slow play is most likely what we'll see them do for the rest of this one. Uh, I mean, I like both of the macro kind of ideas from Loud in terms of cheap pressure because no Sentinel and this kind of backup as well in terms of playing crazy slow seemingly aware of his waiting for yeah, waiting for there. fpx to kind of make a move as well give it a second attempt yeah and in these slower rounds it's it, it's really less to be the ones to i guess if there's no early round aggression from fpx mm. it's less that becomes the pivotal player in terms of information and sifting out where that threat is some around life left unchecked allowed have shown a lot of presence up to you actually yeah it was one of the first rounds we haven't seen them explore it, so you, you almost feel bad for life in that regard. Yeah, like, he's not rewarded. Yeah. But this much more patient play, you know, a, a much longer held default as well by Loud. That was uh, Alex, patient. thank you so much for the six months. Appreciate the prime. Thank you, thank you. Watching for that tube, tube pressure, which is maybe just a nice counter read because they life had been didn't dash here. So yeah, he went a little Still. bit fast, but he's but trying to one, create one, pressure a for sure. You see, I was in the background of the sideband video. Oh yeah, kind of sick, man. KSI never misses a stream. Um, but yeah, I should actually find out what the um, cafe was that was showing me. Giving loud the information. Kind of cool. Necessarily an advantage just yet. And Autumn can TP elsewhere. He's going to post up here. Maybe show presence to the operator. Potentially catch time in ahead of a rotation, but no, his TP has just expired. Time to jump. Okay, so this TP is again is going to go at like what 48 was this? Like, I forgot to look at the timer. That's nice. Okay, that's all the TP's done, but this is very, very good. They take down pretty much the best player you can take down in terms of the Viper, and they can just hold their crossfires. And that is a bit of a nightmare, but that's a good reply over towards bottom and middle. But still, there is pressure points to this. Oh. You can see the gap being closed. But another spot for Autumn and another body to add to the list. Cowanzin trying to drift in. Nicely done. Yeah, Aut dude, Autumn and Life. Autumn and Life are like Absolute everything at the moment. The Duelists have a lot of freedom and they are making the most. We've got I mean, 13 so to 8, 10 to 8. Two members allowed tucked into main here. And Autumn's allowed to swing all the way. Driver, called side right? quests in London. Okay. Barely saw anything from no yeah, either way, really cool. He finds three on the round with the operator. <laughs> Pretty pleased with himself. Should be. Coaches see the, the player face cams. Well, they used to have that. I think it differs from event, but. Now you got life for the operator. I think majority of the time, Another yes. Switch here. So if Loud thought they had a plan before, now it could be adjusted. Expectations being diverted. Okay, it looks like we're going a little bit faster on this one. We have the alt to cancel it. We get a TP in. We have four people over Body's towards here. We're creating us. pressure. Uh -oh. We have an alt. Keep an eye on what's actually happening around the map in terms of trying to take space at middle and over towards B. Yeah, and they are selling a fake to try and catch the reaction over towards middle. I haven't got... I mean, they haven't got any kills, but in terms of map control, they got everything. They walked over towards B, they got over towards top middle. I mean, yeah, Leicester's got a very deep position, but they haven't caught anybody in rotation, so... Yeah, but I think the map control is just so good. They're, they're in a really good position as well. They insert one over towards Tube that can hear a lot of the fast rotates and call if they're going middle or over towards spawn. I think Louder are in a great position at the moment. The worrying thing is Tui's in terms of his all. But he's in a good position. Yeah, and so we have the Yoru ult for retake, so if he can actually take a good timing, and he's going to hear these guys moving back here. He's had no one going over towards door, so he doesn't have to worry about door. Yeah, he's at least going to well, catch it. Whoa! Oh, what an aware god. Yeah, and the TP. The Astra ult goes in. We got the little section with the TP. This is the third time we've seen that combo now. This was so, so nice. Little area at the back. No one hears the Yoru TP. Oh. Lovely round. They get seven on a... On a sentinel no breeze. That was a really cool round. Yeah, loving this. 
the Astra Yoru combos. Retake here. Making the pick rate go up for Astra. For it didn't win pistol as well. It's an impressive it's path. Just unreal from Berlin. This is what I wanted out of map two. A closer affair, a better game. FPX showing us a lot more caliber here. Loud, no way out of it with five rounds to their name. But this is the perfect opportunity to check in with FPX. <laughs> Wait, what's going on it? When they say check in on FPX is in just <laughs> look at the camera shots of them. Uh, DMF, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you. There's a fire in production. Wow, that was a bold statement there. Yeah, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> I know. Oh, nice okay. recovery. I hope someone clipped it. Yeah. Very, very interesting insight there. It was. It was I... We should stop playing with them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, it's all good. There was nothing played. Don't worry. Um, of course, things don't work when we're here. <laughs> Look, we got to bring a little curse to it. Otherwise, you know. It's been a while since we've been feel a halftime match. I feel a bit oh, lost. Yeah, I would say, like, what, what, what do you want to talk about? You're the analyst. Have fun. <laughs> I was hoping to get someone from the interview there. <laughs> That's a lucky isn't I mean, it? I'll come back to the same point. Obviously, uh, after the first map and it, it being very, very one sided, now with this performance on defense, you really, really got to dial in and hope that Ultimate Life can, can be the deciding factor here for FPX to force a map three. I mean, less, uh, sorry, I was going to say less. <laughs> uh, loud, looking a little quiet in areas, but I guess looking. You think the sky changes killed any Genji chance of a Harbour Metro on Breeze? Yeah. Like I said, it, it Harbour got a little bit wrecked like because of that. Lobby, people were running around, yeah. just winning gunfights, which, again, on Breeze, you know, hey, it's Breeze. odds are you're going you're gonna to win out a few series that way, but doesn't really seem to be the approach from Loud. So I'm curious to see how they apply this composition to the defense. Uh, so in terms of the pistol, be the slippery <laughs> one, three the one and oh, and Loud down, might actually need to win double on. pistol here. I can't wait to see it. Couple seconds to go now. Was this a flash in the pan? A death rattle recon from top or mid. Was there truly yeah, the problem with this recon is it doesn't hit the guy short. I think this the guy short. Me excited, I mean, they, they should know it's their own Having recon. They should know that this answers, doesn't scan short. Again, yeah, that's why they're looking here. What does this second half look like? An early work. Who is is crazy committed? Yeah. We got is aggro camera. Gonna be checked on and outdone. Calentine with the first gonna draw blood here. Now, uh, now all loud. kind of eyes go. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on. We've got three individual du duels, really. Really relying on life and autumn. And we have a do we have a jet push over towards A as well? I mean, louder in such a good position. Now everyone can kind of relax a little bit. Jet can push this Viper has to try and get out of there, but Viper's going to get shot from autumn. Then does he spot Sadak over towards middle after? No. Wait. Tadak missed. Quick pop flash, spotting out Sadak, and oh. feeling himself, so he's gonna stick that Wait, the reverse 3v5. They never do these. So much damage. Do FTX continue on this path? They could turn heal potentially 35 seconds. What so HP? Oh, one HP. To run the clock down. Well, I saw down to one HP, yeah. Berlin. They have no Pretty map healthy, control. There's a camera up to the left as well. Lucky. It's an absolute <laughs> nightmare. Now the problem is QCK. Look at the position Last he's in. Yep, I think Berlin knows his chances are fading here. There was a little bit of a moment in middle where maybe they could have done a bit more, but with 10 seconds, players left, right, and center. Hey, nicely Less handled from uh, from Loud. I like well. this. Less was great on this again, one as well. Um, I like the push players, as well. Push from QCK once they kind of got in further, they were going up towards middle was cool. I just like the overall pistol. They had a lot of info across the map. That is 4 and 0 in terms of pistols. And that is obviously 2 0 for this map. Autumn had a real opportunity. He gave him a solid start here. Definitely finding two follow-ups after life did fall. Unfortunate. Cowan Zeen on the other side of that with the sheriff of his own. A and two pistols for the whole tournament. Oh, really? Eight and two? That's impressive. This is... Well... They're here. <laughs> Quite a few of them. Help. 
Um, it isn't just less, but he's got to be a little careful because there is that kind of gap close on autumn, right? That could be an issue. Same with life to an extent. It's just an, uh, <laughs> it's just an eco on this one. DCK could definitely go farming in a bit here. Does he get the timing right? No, he doesn't. Oh my goodness. Okay. Second time of asking, and Loud looking composed, not... Yeah, nice and chill from Loud that's as well, just like not wanting to get overwhelmed on the site, not wanting to give him any themselves. guns, just falling the back. They got the retake wall as well, here, so again, keep in mind all kind of fine mistaken, on that. First half, Loud did the same as well. They got the first yeah, two. Yeah, QCK looking a little rough around the edges, to be honest, from the first half. But... Yeah. Uh, there been a buff on Astra. No, the only buff was um the only buff was the change of the Astra suck and the Astra stun. The stun was faster and the suck was like a had like a pause on the activation basically. But it, I viewed it as a buff. Some people viewed it as a um, counter. You can actually can actually now combo the two. You can like stun. Um, you know when and you used to like breach a, stun a, a into an Astra suck like, and you go into the middle? Face, they, they you could do that. You can now do that combo with Astra, right? You can stun and then they get out. dragged into the middle. It's pretty cool. What a big investment here. Uh, the wall no sound as well. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, that's so probably the main players, change, to be honest. This way for now. The wall has no sound. QCK only on four kills. He's not had the impact he'd want here. And he can feel that pressure starting to mount. Oh my god. Yeah. Life took a dink. As does Autumn at this point. So both of them suffering yeah, good start tough. for loud if you'd be happy with that and obviously for fpx that's gonna take the wind out of your sails yeah both duelists kept in check here definitely gonna make a, an Top goes in Execute doesn't break the trip but it would break the trip if it was normal we have the most Deep passive trip, trip so they really want to fall all the way back her. with this one and get yeah, a kill I mean, that's the weirdest kill trip I've seen. He's trying to cool. ignore the one and look for the others, but the TP's been taken. QCK's in a little bit of trouble here. Opting for the third okay. the first or the second. Yeah, nicely done. An extra? No. Do a weird round as well. Keep an eye on the Astra. Keep an eye on the Spike. So life needs to just try and stay alive over towards site. They haven't been able to ferry it forward. So even though they have the site, they have no Oh, that is a huge kill. That's a spike down. Then Astra needs to go in, but everyone's dead. Oh, man. A little bit bad for them here. Progress made early on here. Left. Spike not committed. I mean, I guess this was the long con for FBX. So yeah, and QCK, um, and or, or I guess Sadak, taking the risk of buying the op into this one really it paid off. Now, too decisive on the side. I think Astra should have five stars. No, I think that would be madness. I really do. Astra combos right well with Yoru. Yoru's yeah, yeah, like super meta at catching. the moment, or or at least yeah, we're just trying starting to discover that it's super meta at the moment. It's a really strong really agent. Okay. Um, and buffing <laughs> Astra would mean that we just see so much Astra Yoru. The awareness towards so, him. I think uh, I think they would be mad unreal. to touch Astra at the moment. My people, are you ready? You must Operator obviously retained so carry the cross here. Loud kicking things off with three unanswered. With a team flash catch in there. Defeated. Sure how effective that was on the other side, but Believe us. Oh. and yeah, fairly indicative to see the spike not committed there. So kind of giving away the plan for FPX of what they want to try to achieve with those sorts of rounds. Maybe okay. because Loud to save out. Up and they wanted to try and formulate some sort of fake. They've out one gun. Like I said, catch somebody right in rotation, but... And this is a, a good chance for Loud to get a lot of econ. Oh, I say a lot. We we've already got two people that are like now, near 5k. It's really kind of top-loaded, right? Life's the only one with the rifle. Everyone else on Sheriff's... A little bit of kit to play with, but not as Man, much some of these passive trips are interesting. Like, control, real, like real passive enough. trips. They're, they're giving up sight. Not in the usual and spot. It might catch them out for sure. And it kind of lets you know if you've actually pushed aggro. Maybe they do like to push aggro. So far, the hero gun is doing great. I love this smoke as well to give them a bit of freedom to isolate a lot of the jewels. This guy taking some damage. Does he want to throw the gun over? Not really. He actually still has, like, one of the better... HPs in terms of armor as well. He's got to be in this one. Oh, he's gone down. Lovely that shot. So maybe he was a bit too, too committed in terms of the rifle. Needs to get into the action now. Also tagged up. This is a problem. That is a well-timed double peek. Astro over towards door. All right. Where the hell did Berlin just come from? Oh, it's just auto left alive now in a 1v2. Maybe oh, oh he dinked him. Hey, that was a nice try in the eco. They did a lot of damage, yeah. In terms of the farming of money, that didn't happen. 
Um, you got to shout out the guy stairs here. He he was super aware that Astra is alive, and they've looked at a lot of FPX demos, I think, in terms of how far back the Astra plays, because the Astra is just late lurking a lot of the time when you watch this team. So, um, yeah, this this is just less just being super aware in terms of it as well, because he never fully committed. I think he was all, he was always aware this was a likely uh likely outcome of him lurking. Go back for that A take. They kind of got a test of it last time. Do they feel as though maybe through the middle of B. something yeah, stacked up and actually holding on to the spike here? So it might be a place yeah, maybe he's saying alt with autumn as well. Uh, I this think you're right. Huge. This could be really, really valuable for them. Knife deep. That hits a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Three. I'd imagine quite a few of them. Yeah. Yeah, it could even be four. Two, three potentially. You can see the reaction almost instantly from loud towards middle. Starting to close that gap. You're gonna have QCK on the way. The ult is gonna come in, and already it's a site being evacuated. Keep an eye on this push. A lot deeper. FPX will oh get themselves God. a plant. They are so close by here. Autumn. Gotta be careful about this one. TV. Oh my God. When Jet is next back, to him. Look who's waiting. For <laughs> Jet pushed all the way right down. He didn't go close enough to hear the sound of the TP and he just takes the TP and then Jet's kind of just far away and kind of isolated in terms of the jewel here as well. So as he done, it's a good plant as well. And I think you can see it from short, but you can at least see some kills over towards short. So Loud need to speed up a little bit and people are everywhere. They are sticking half. It is half. Just goes in, takes away life and wants to remove Lysaur, but he can't quite do it. And now you can see that back for Lysaur is just going to get his body on the line here. Yeah. They're going back to the Ooh, oh, close oh, though, close oh, attempt. Oh, there is a lot of afterplant down. util. Oh, Mollies were coming in early, that's why they couldn't get any more than half. Heartbreaking for QCK. You see the TP sent all the way down Heretics, to the yeah. It's it's a lot of... Um, do you know who was actually the first one to do this kind of stuff? It was... Um, I'm pretty sure it was the G2 uh, goes on team. Get ahead of the curve here. At least Just that's where I saw it on like a main kind of stage. Train. Enough pressure on site. Two years Bob ago. On the way back in from Unfortunately, it doesn't kind of what makes this comp effective about the Sentinel? Space, the Yoru. Yeah. Tough to do nonetheless. Different approach this time. Honestly, the Yoru and the Astra middle. kind of as well. Has a lot of um. I want to see it's very good in a lot of if I'm honest, good at he does need to start picking cross up map in terms of the Astra being able to help cross map right so that kind of counters out a little bit of the cipher stuff in terms of you being able to help across the map oh man yeah Tui's did a lot of damage there to make sure that the nades can do damage here as well this was cool this was a heavy shutdown paper uh, sorry F FPX tried to change up the pace they got fully shut down you got to shout out uh, Sadak I mean Sadak and Tui say was really good Nice connection on towards one at the four. Up. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm lucky. Yeah, and they might buy into this one, but these two are a little bit wrecked money-wise. Um, yeah, in terms of like the no Sentinel comp, like these two are the main ones, right? So this is like global presence in terms of the Astra being able to help on the other side of the map, and also the Yoru um, doing a similar thing where you can TP and go help. Dips his toes inside the smoke. So it means you can just fight sites a little bit better. It does mean it has some. It, it means it has some things that it excels at and stuff, stuff that it struggles with, though. But call a timeout. definitely still works. Actually, no. Sorry, my mistake. Did just change. It's got debated. Not your mistake. That's I promise. It Who's the best Yoru? Maybe they both. Yeah, no, man. There's a lot of good Yorus out there. It's probably know. tens of Forsaken would be the top two from what we've seen. Cool. But they're also the ones that we've seen Talk the most data about from. What the game plan is here, because loud of. I think you could put some other in, names in there say, as well. I wouldn't say the ideal way, because I would have... Yeah, I, I yeah I'll have probably put him, as, it, probably put him up there as well, a bit in the front. Involved. He has been somewhat absent the beast. Um, Ottoman life have had his number. But yeah, I mean, he's got his hands full on the front line, right? Okay, this, they have a lot of timeouts as well. Uh, I didn't realize this is their first timeout. FPX's inability to convert first bloods into round wins. They were winning out on the opening duels, but... It, Things were kind of slipping through their fingers elsewhere. Okay, I, I mean, maybe. Kind of we don't know. We've never seen that. Maybe not being statistically... You have 101k points from Larkin. Respect. Yeah. FBX definitely causing enough of a ruckus to make Larkin That's a lot of Larkin. Yes. Now the force back into recovery mode in some of these. And unfortunately, Did the Yoru rework make him meta? It, it was style. not really. There wasn't really much of a rework as well. It was more just yes. the fact that it got and some buffs and half. Jet started we, getting we nerfs. Same with Ray's. Like everything just started now. getting nerfed. Time Sky nerf as well meant that flashes become more still viable. That's why it's starting to see this like a Sover and Yoru. They're like the um, but like the, the big flash agents that actually this time with the decent. And it is gonna be this B piece. Last time, 
They Look at this rotate. Oh my goodness, four person rotate, push all the way through. They force into this one, they got low money, they can't buy next. Pretty much all on this round, four person stack. Oh, oh. Look at you can win the round with this jewel. Keep an eye on the jet. Oh my god, okay, and you would think that this one's done. You would think it's done, but he's in a pretty good position. Have you got a 1v2 in you? Have you got the ability to do something about <gasps> this? Oh, oh boy. Nice round from Autumn. Gets the plant as well in terms of the money, which is low. So it is important. And Keep speaking of low money, loud two people that can't buy. But we might be able to have a drop with the 5 and the 6k. Financially coming out. I think two, maybe three purchases available. Yeah, it looks like a low buy with just some guns. Three guns probably. To force back in here. So the null command almost perfect is shutting down. I guess the second leg of this execute. Once Autumn TP's in, the Astro Smokes come up and create a couple of pockets for FPX to work out of. Nonetheless, FPX find that was an impressive B hit, to be honest, with how many people were there. It was a lot down to Jules from Autumn, but still impressive. Knife goes in, hits two, they hear the Euro over towards site as well, four plus and rotate. That's actually, that smoke might really cost them. Smoke doesn't hit the mark, so they can't use the after plant util, and everyone goes down. Oh man! Yeah, and and this this Molly isn't going to do much. They got to use the Astro suck really early. Then Astro has to push through his own smoke, and this Molly again might not be enough, so they might feel like they have to force or spam early. Keep an eye on the guy door. Oh man, Autumn is, <laughs> Autumn is saving them. Four kills last, three kills here. Oh, this one got close. Twenty five to fifteen, by the way. Um, Frazzle, thank you so much for the five months. Appreciate the prime. Keeping the hopes alive for FBX. Oh, this was sick. That's how he got that. Call it a good round, but also got to know Autumn got four kills there. And I said, well, surely you can't do it again in my head. Oh, that flashes. Wait, that flashes. Unreal. Really rather God sent. Yeah, it goes above the box. You ain't turning that one. That's sick. Especially on land when you can't hear as well. Ashton, thank you so much with the prime as well. Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Dash is expired. He's punished. He's desperate to make up for it. You can feel it. Yeah, he really he's tried to make so the play happen here. Man, FPX are coming alive. Dude, I'm surprised they managed to buy him. here. Did they not mess up? Um, oh, no. So the, yeah, sorry. The eco last with the two heroes. But in terms of it, like in terms of the impact of this round, like no one can buy. Hounds in is real close. He's going to hear this wall. Always an awkward angle, though. Yeah, look at this guy. Just waits for punishes over towards middle. Punishes the, the reactional push. One person send it over towards A with the wall invested. Three person rotate. Oh man, they've owned them. Oh, what a shot! Now they lose the camera as well. That would have confirmed that this was a fake. Louder falling for this hook, line and sinker and life looking to be the oh, reaper unlucky. on the side. Oh, unlucky. Two v five, pretty far away on this one, and they kind of need to save the guns. Got to save the guns here. Your heart almost drops when you hear that spike going down, and you are on the other side of the map. Can they at least recover the operator? Is it even worth it to keep into hand? I mean, it's not been going well for them. Opting for it here. FBX gonna be taking the lead now. Really activating, yes, individually in a couple of these, but now we're seeing this kind of, I'd say, across the board effect here. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> Have to consider things in the next round as well. You look at been one of the most entertaining breezes. It's been good. Yes, I mean, got to shout out FPX making this like even close after losing double pistol. Potentially twelve off of the back of this round twenty-one they, victory. They have an insane, they have an insane breeze right now. On the brink of guaranteeing a third. Yeah, you see, it looks even worse from. They got so many on their defense with this comp. QCK is looking to, to dig for that opener. I think you're right. It almost feels desperate. Trying to put something up on the board. It's time to check in for Loud. That's three in a row. This is their last... Um, this is their last... 
I'm out, right? They found something that's been working for them. It was Lexi, a 40 streams in a row. Holy. the score line right back. <laughs> it's so sick as well. Their own now. Is that after the... That was after the narrate 1v3, right? Yeah, Man, that was so funny. Standout performance from Autumn. Loud, unable to really pin him down in certain situations. Now has allowed FPX to find a way back in to this half after a, I've got to say, a very impressive first half overall for FPX. Hands down, this is. Was I streaming 43 months ago? I was probably. I might have done a few watch parties when I was coaching in Liquid. You can, you can put it where it is. I, did, I, did, yeah, I was doing some Americas, now, say, some yeah, Americas back then, maybe. The uh, Mango Freeze, thank you so much. Chat, you know what to do when we get some gifted. Let's get the Euler out there. Let's get the Euler remote going. Mango, thank you so much. 191 altogether. Five right now. Appreciate you. If you got gifted from Mango, make sure you say thank you as well. Thank you for the five, Mango. You're, you're a mad man with them. You really are, dude. Thank you for all the support, bro. Obviously, the previous two rounds... Um, okay, let's see what we decide to change up. We got one hero gun. We got, uh, I mean, we got the guns that were saved, right? FPX fans in their chances, nonetheless. Two awkward trip wires here. Yeah, it's the first time the trips have actually been put in front to try and get these kills. So maybe they feel a little bit. Looking for it. Uh, he's been tagged up though. Berlin gonna get towards site. That's gonna be the plan coming through. Is anyone gonna try and deny this? Anyone gonna put their life on the line for it? it looks like they're trying to. Zadak, oh, the gap closed. Gets towards Ooh. Berlin and gets Still should be finding the after plant, you would think. But this is a lot of damage done. Yeah, we gotta we gotta hold up. And did they mess up their Viper a little bit? Because he's playing in front and I don't think there's a cubby anymore. But the amount of times Epics have done an ult where there is a cubby, they're gonna think that it has a cubby. And they kill the Viper. And they have their own Viper all. 24 HP. 24 HP. They've got to play the time as well. Trying to draw out the last bit and get the drop of the pin. And now I hang down on 1 HP. Could this be the clutch of his life? No way. No way they won this. Far too close for the title even. They messed up their Viper a little bit as well. What a crazy exchange. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna feel a bit bad for that one. I need to see a replay. Sadek obviously got a really important kill here. Then what? Then we have a spam. I mean, the spams were good. Look, how do, how is Sadak getting two of those kills? Yeah. The second, absolute madness from him. The response is there. What on earth is FPX's money? I wasn't even looking at it. Oh, they're so fine. Okay, they got loads. I say so fine. Okay, 11-11. We get Astra ult with this one. We have one away from Jet Knife, so they have that for the next round no matter what. We have QC, QCK going super aggro. And we actually have the uh, kill trips more over towards site again. And we're just, Dude, with this info, we're heavy leaning. Heavy, heavy lean over towards A. So he kind of needs to get something here. Oh, boy. They're so aware that this might be a thing. He's not looking as confident now, trying to sit He's in a little deeper angle. He's relaying this information now that something's Be happening. Because look at the rest of the team. Look at where Kalanzine is. Bro, he has to get one. QCK has to find... Oh, man, he oh has God, to. He actually QCK. has to get one here. I think he has to get out at least. This is a full, clear sight. Okay, give me give me Kalanzine, because he now has to get one. They've got life on the site itself. Oh, how do you win this? Knife's edge, Mike. I want to after you win this with the after plant. They're going to go over towards B main. They've got good after plant. We still have Astra with a star as well. I think I'm going to highlight it at one point. Ah, uh, we were on Astra. I didn't check. Looks like we have a knife splash on this one as well. We've got to smoke over towards the left side. Big jewel. Ooh. An answer found over by Pillar. Sadak on the site with a tap on the spike. He's down low, but he's still going to find oh. for the trade. Two, he's got to get one. Oh, one v three. It's on Lysor in a one v three. He's got one. He needs two more. But up above. Now ah, look at less. Look at less of it. So so calm. How did they get two of the kills on site here? How did these two elbow die? Did they double swing? Able to steady the ship. Find themselves now on map and series point, Lauren. The so he's on top. Heat. And then he swings there. 
beautiful retake though to pull off. It's like I said, a yes. full 5v5 here with the amount of utility that's available on the B site. That wall paying off though. Sadak able to create a little bit of paranoia with that first spike tap. Oh man, they're losing some devastating rounds. One yeah. one chance for Loud to finish this one. Man, this is so tense. <laughs> There's still a buy here. Oh, it's not a great purchase. What can they do? Life has his ult, and he's looking for that opportunity in middle. Can he close down on QCK he's potentially? Gonna... Not this time. Connection Lovely found. shot. And a man up. Wall committed over towards A. That means they can keep the heavy lean over towards A. We're going to exec into B. Very safe here, willing to give up the I mean, we've seen they've seen them retake with less. He's too much of a threat. Dadak has his ult as well. This time playing with the pack, not playing ahead. They've got... Oh, there we go. Now's the time to start coming alive here. That's the spike as well. Finest of angles to find a shot, and I think he wants a bit more. Yeah, and they still haven't planted. Maybe played in off this. Ian gives away his position. And it's precarious now. They need a plant, Mike. We get it here, but timing a little awkward. No command invested here. Loud. Someone's got to be a hero. Autumn goes. No, he doesn't. Stomping onto site. A one for one trade, the number so favorable towards loud. Real committed to that. Full HP, them. maybe. One v four. For this side, but a brutal position, a brutal round to potentially go home on. Has he got the heroics in him? He's got so many targets, so many threats. <laughs> oh man. Oh bro. FBA Nicely done from loud. loud. The double pistol yeah, really the helped them here, and that timeout as well. At what 10-11? I have no, no idea they managed to pull that one through. F FPX, oh man, they have some savage, savage losses. Again. They can't close out maps.